Make a kid outdoors here. So we're indoors. What are we doing today? Well, my little portable buddy heater crapped out on me when I was doing an overnight camp out. And uh, tried to get it to relight. Thing wouldn't relight. Took it apart. Fiddled around with the thermocouple a little bit. And uh, got to light one time and that's all she wrote. So I went online, ordered me a new one, waited about half a week for the stuff to come in, and said, okay, I'll replace that bad boy. So let's check it out. <laughs> Mikey Cat Outdoors here. Woohoo! Indoors. That's what we're doing today. We got the uh, little portable buddy heater, tank top model, and I brought it back to life. We got a nice healthy glow. And uh, I took this sucker apart, took the shroud off, and uh, got my original valve control piece there and I bought a new thermocouple and it came with a little valve piece as well but I didn't put that on because the electronic uh, connector didn't want to come off very easily I didn't really want to strip or break anything on the heater uh, got the little uh, on switch down here and the uh, little piezo igniter so all I had to do was just replace one part assembly just a little off switch I'll turn that off real quick there goes the heater so uh, this guy right under here is a new assembly that I put on so it's got a uh, little gas tube, it's got a little piezo sparker <clears throat> electrical port there, and then uh, a little dumahickey on the left there of the screen. That's the thermocouple, that's the guy that caused all the trouble. So when he gets hot, he'll actually generate a voltage, which will go back to the safety switch, and when it detects that voltage, it will allow that gas to come on um, and stay on otherwise it'll shut it off and the old one burned out so I got a replacement one from TESS T -E -S -S, equipment and I just found that online and uh, well, it was a few bucks but it's a lot cheaper than buying a whole new heater for 70 bucks so uh, here I've got the old thermocouple gas assembly on the right and I've got an unused uh, kind of like a gas valve assembly up there on the left um, one that I already had on there seemed to work alright I couldn't get the electrical connector come off the old one so I just figured well I'll have a spare part for a while so now the moment of truth there we go Gotta let this thing set for about 30 seconds. And then once you got it on for about that time, you release the switch and eventually the gas should flow up to the catalytic ceramic part there. There we go. Cool beans. Got this bad boy working again. So, if your uh, buddy heater, no matter what size it is, if it starts crapping out on you, or it won't stay lit, um, sometimes it's a tip-over switch, but most of the time, probably 9 times out of 10, it's going to be a bad thermocouple. So I just spent 26 bucks, bought one, maybe could have found it a little cheaper, but, you know, 26 is a heck of a lot better than 70 bucks for a brand new heater of this size. Um, large ones are even more expensive. So it's a nice uh, economical way to bring some new life 
to a heater that uh, otherwise, you know, you don't want to junk it because all it is is one little part that goes bad. It's kind of like having a spark plug in your car. You know, you don't toss the car out. You get a part and you fix it. If you like what you've seen, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, catch you again the outdoors or the indoors or wherever. So, let's, uh, I'm going to sign off. I think I'm about ready to go sleep. So, I'll catch you later. Have a good one. As always, thanks for watching.